Hi Capricorns, my name is Psychic Gigi, welcome back. I'm going to be doing your March 2022 love reading. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also, um, if you feel that this reading resonates with you, um, please, you know, don't be shy, comment. Um, you never know, it might help someone else that's also looking. Okay. If you would like a private reading with me, my information is listed below. Capricorns for March, love March, March love, March love, 2022 for my Capricorns. Okay, Capricorns, the first thing that I'm getting, and um, well, I will, um, I just kind of want to bring this out and I'm going to start off here. Like you guys are coming out of a period where some of you could have, um, I feel like things have been difficult for you guys um, for the past three years. Three. I'm getting the number three. Um, and a lot of that has to do with how the, the planets are aligned. But right now, I get like, you know, the sun is moving into Aries on the 20th of this month, March. So there's a lot, like a lot of my um, Capricorns could be like, you, you know, working on career goals. Some of you um, are really focused and I'm gonna say the majority of my Capricorns are really focused on your career and your finances and home life. Um some of you could be spending more time with your children. Others are um wanting or desiring to learn. Again, this is not gonna resonate with anyone and this is a general reading. So take what you want and leave what doesn't serve you. Um this is just a general reading. Let's go ahead and see what's coming up for our Capricorns. Yeah, Capricorns, I have a feeling that there's somebody um, that you're um, drawn to um, or is holding um, maybe your thoughts. Let's see what this, let's, let's see um, how you're feeling, your person's feeling, and let's see what's going to happen. Let's see how this is for our Capricorns. How are Capricorns feeling in regards to their love situation? Let's see what's going on in their love situation. Okay, yeah. I feel like Capricorns, you're, you're out of like, um, a, you know, I got the two of wands. And I feel like you, it's, you know, it's decision time. You're, you're weighing your options out. Um, I, for some of you, um, there's a lot of um, indecisive energy. So for some of my Capricorns, and you guys normally aren't like this, um, but I do get some socializing, getting out, excitement. For your love this month. Let's see what your other person's feeling. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see what they're feeling. Yeah, they're hopeful. They're calm. Okay. Okay. Capricorns, for some of you, and I know like I'm I'm kind of hesitating because you know, I feel like my Capricorns are on the right track. They're just like you guys are just like moving forward, you know. If this is if there's something that's coming towards you in love. Um, if you're single and you're like searching and maybe you, or you're in a relationship where you're not really feeling like there's a lot of balance in the relationship at this time, it's like, you're just jumping in. You're, you're not stopping. Um, you're moving forward. Um, you've already, um, and that's where I do feel like there's going to be an option this month where you might have to choose between two potential, um, partners. And let's hope you make the right choice. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look at that. The so your your significant other, um, I feel like they're they're definitely um, hopeful. They want to come back towards you. They're gonna want a reconciliation, but they want it on their terms. And this is like, guys, look at this. It's like you guys don't see eye to eye on on any level. Um, it's like they want to do their thing. You want to do your thing, and. It's almost like they're kind of throwing you off balance because they're not being honest. Um, at the bottom of the deck, the temperance is, yeah. For some of you, you could be dealing with somebody who thinks that they can kind of like pull the, uh, you know, the, the hat over your head because so you don't see what they're actually doing because they're trying to be sneaky about their, um, about their ways like they might have secrets around them or they're just not being honest with their communication let's go ahead and see what's occurring right now are they in connection i want to see if you guys yeah 
They, okay, so Capricorns, for some of you, I feel like you are dealing with somebody who could be like delaying conversation. They're back and forth type of energy. They're indecisive. I feel like they really want to um, be single, but they don't want you to be single. So they kind of keep popping back in and saying, hey, how are you, you know? Or they'll give you, um, or you're, you're getting like their energetic connection. I'm going to feel like maybe they're not talking to you directly, but their energy is in your space right now. And I feel like for some of you, um, the relationship could be a little bit like, um, like, uh, like this person that you're dealing with for some of you Capricorns, and I'm going to just gonna say this, like they want to control, they're watching you. They want to control the situation. They want to talk to you, but when they want to talk to you, I think if they're busy and you know, they, they just, they'll cut you off. They, they just want to be like single. I feel like this person Cap Capricorns is like, just wants to be single. And you guys are like, okay. Um, and that's where you're having to make this decision. You need to make a decision. Are you going to hold on to this connection or are you going to move forward? Now, I don't feel like this connection is gone. Um, I do get a delay in around them coming back towards you, but it's like the follow through. Um, uh, maybe they come in really quick and they're just not, they're, they're not following through. Um, but I feel like with you Capricorns, you just, it's like, okay, so this person's like, has like a double face. It's almost like you're realizing the truth about this person. Um, and you just don't want to be controlled anymore. Yeah. They're not doing things to really move into a relationship so just be mindful of this i feel like this outside energy or this current energy that that my capricorns are dealing with is is just kind of um it's back and forth it's they want to be friends or not friends but they want to remain single your significant other wants to remain single okay let's see what gets some advice for our capricorns for love this month let's see what your advice is and you might even be arguing with this person this month too I, I had to stop because um, I feel like some of you will be in like, a, I sh just not seeing eye to eye and it just could be because they want to be single and, and you're like, no, I want, I want like a, a balanced relationship. Something to give me advice. Okay. So your advice, Capricorns, for your love situation is um, don't feel like you're trapped or restricted. Try to um, pay attention to your finances. It's coming up. Don't feel like you're trapped or restricted in, in um, your current situation because you're not. Um, you just have to fight. They're, they're saying, you know, if you're not if you're not satisfied with this connection over here, and um, you don't have to feel like trapped or restricted. You need to make a decision to kind of move forward. Um, yeah, you have to kind of like move forward. I get. Um, Uh, in terms of your, like your love life, even if you're single, I feel like it just might be like a little bit back and forth. You might have a couple options, but nothing that you're really wanting or desiring. Um, let's just clarify on this Queen of Pentacles. I don't reversed. Yeah. So I feel like they're definitely um, this person of interest that that you guys are. Um, for some of you, not all of you. Um, it's like, a, you know, I got the Ace of Wands, like a double-edged sword. Like, they come towards you. You guys have, like, there's passion there. I do feel like there's strong passion between the two of you. But um, they're coming back after taking a break um, or not communicating with you. Or maybe they just kind of, like, ghosted you. And now they're coming back. But they're still not giving you or offering um, anything, like, strong. Um Let's see what's coming up. Let's get a romance. Oracle Angel. Romance. Let's see what's going on. The Capricorns, you guys need a little bit more information. What do they need to know this month? Oh, okay. That's it. True love. Wow. This is a romance of a lifetime. True love. For some of you, you might feel, or or they might feel, I feel like um, the other party knows that like this is true love, but they're, they want to remain single. They, they're not ready to like, you know, um, like come towards that true love because, because they want to be like running around doing their little thing. Maybe not being honest. Oh, let me just check what are their hidden true feelings. Let's see what they're, 
What does Capricorns need to know from your significant other? What does the significant other want to tell Capricorns for March 2022? Yeah, I bury myself in my work sometimes to forget about these feelings, this connection that you have with this person. You were the best thing in my life. Yeah, they know. They know that you guys were the best things. And I know, like, I felt like it was so much delays. And maybe this is your other person. This is, like, the way that they communicate with you. Um, like, they're delayed. And, you know, they're delaying text messages. Or they're just not talking for, like, four days. Some of you, four weeks. I'm getting the number four. Whatever that means. Maybe you haven't spoken to them since last month. Or the fourth of last month. Or four days ago. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Yeah, they, they're hopeful that they can come back towards you when they're ready because they're really not being honest with their emotions and feelings. And I feel like they're just choosing to be single. And this is where that Ace of Swords is. So um, Capricorns, I have to say, I think you guys need to um, definitely make that decision um, in regards to this person from your past. And I also feel like for some of you, you're going to have, like, if you're not in a new opportunity right now or you're not pursuing new opportunities, you do have some new opportunities coming towards you. Okay, Capricorns, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you would like a personal reading with me. My information is listed below, and I will see you guys soon.